What is going on everybody, Beast HD here, and today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial here in Photoshop CS6, and I'm going to be showing you how to make an awesome 3D shatter text effect background for your YouTube channel. So the finished product is going to look very similar to this here, and this is actually very easy to make, so if you just follow along with exactly what I am doing, you really should have no problems in doing it at all. So before we begin, there is a folder in the description of this video that you will need to download. Um, I basically put everything you're going to need for the tutorial, all the pictures and also the font in it. So uh, just before we begin, make sure that you go into the description and download that folder. Uh, it's called GFX Pack. So once you have that folder downloaded, open up Photoshop. And once you're in Photoshop, go to File and then New. And then you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Banner. And then have your width 2560 pixels. Height 423, make sure it's pixels, resolution 150 pixels per centimeter, RGB color 8 bit, and have a transparent background. And then just hit OK. So once you have your template like this, go back up to File, <clears throat> then hit Open. And then go to wherever you've saved the folder that I have linked in the description. It's called GFX Pack. Go into the GFX Pack folder, and you will see another folder called MM Shattered Free. Click into MM Shattered Free and it basically has all the letters that you will need. Um, so whatever you want your banner to say, just select each letter by holding control and clicking on your uh, just clicking on your mouse basically. It uh, basically selects all the letters in one go so you don't have to keep going to file, open and doing it one at a time. Uh, once you have all your letters selected, just click open and Photoshop will bring them all in at the same time. Like that. So once all your letters are in, go to the first letter that's going to be in the word of your banner. My banner is going to say beast, so my first letter obviously is B. Once you're here on the first letter, hit Control T on the keyboard. Go up to the top left hand corner, left click and drag down and it basically just makes the letter a lot smaller. Once you have the letter quite small, then hit the tick. Uh, the tick is up there and then make sure you're on your move tool. Your move tool is your very first tool up the top there. If you're on your move tool, you'll be able to drag by left clicking. You can drag around the letter. Drag the letter into the banner template like so. It doesn't really matter where you put it at the moment because we'll be sorting that out in a minute. Go to your second letter. Do the exact same thing. Control T. Uh, left click and drag down. Make it nice and small. Hit the tick up here. And then drag into your banner template like so then go to your third letter once again control t left click drag down make nice and small hit the tick we are still on our move tool so we can left click and drag up into our banner template and then um where's s there's s so fourth letter control t left click drag down hit the tick we're good to go and then just drag straight into banner template again. It doesn't really matter, like I said, where the letters are at the moment, because we'll be sorting that out in a minute. My T is already small, so I don't have to do anything with it. I can just drag it straight in, like so. So now once you have all your letters here, come down to your layers palette. It's over here. You'll see layer all your layers here. Go down to the layer 1. Just click onto layer 1 and hit backspace. You can just delete it. So now every single one of your layers is one of your letters. Layer 2 will be your first letter. Layer 3 will be your second letter, and so on. So now we're just going to make them, make each letter uh, in the place that we want it, basically. So once again, have your first letter selected, it will be your first letter. Control T, and now we can make it a little bit bigger and just resize it a little bit. I'm going to rotate uh, the B to the left or to the right a little bit. So just come down to one of the corners until you get these two little black arrows. Left click and you can just drag like that. It uh, rotates it off axis a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to hit the tick up here. I'm going to go to layer 3, which is my uh, second letter. Once again, control T. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. Like that. And I'm going to have this one off axis to the right a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Once you're happy, hit the tick. Then we'll move along to our third letter. Click the layer. Make sure you're clicking each layer as you're moving onto each letter, or else you'll just keep editing the same letter. So, Control T once again. <clears throat> it's going to move it up a little bit, rotate it a tiny bit like that. And I'm just going to leave it the same size. So, then we hit the tick. So, now moving along, layer 5. Control T. This is way too big, so we have to scale this down a tiny bit like that. 
and then come up to one of the corners and then drag out a little bit so you can twist it like that where we put it i'm just going to leave it like that for now hit the t and finally come up to your last or whatever letter this is Control t once again gonna make this a little bit smaller and once again i'm gonna rotate it a tiny bit like that or maybe i'll rotate it the other way yeah there we go I don't know what to do with this T. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm happy, so I hit the tick. If you would like to change the color of each of these, then just select the layer. Select the letter you want to change the color of and hit Control U on your keyboard. And this will pop up. And basically, you can change the color by just dragging this up and down like that. Uh, I'm just not going to change the color uh, just for time's sake, basically. But if you want to change the color, then just hit the hit the letter over here on the layer. Control U, change the color, and then do it for each of the letters. Uh, you have to do it one at a time. It's a bit annoying, but oh well. So now once you have all the letters the way you want them to be looking, then come down here to the very bottom of your layers palette over here. You'll see this little folder picture. It says create a new group if you hover over it. Click that once. Then drag your group up to the top of all your layers. <clears throat> and then click off. Uh, click off the group just click down here Once you've done that hold control on your uh, keyboard and then just click each of these layers basically just selects each layer Once you have all your layers selected just drag them up into the group You've just created like that and then you can just close the group and Once we have that done then go to file open Go back to the folder that I linked in the description and you will see texture BG just double click that and it will open into Photoshop on its own and really quick I'm just gonna close all these letters because there is a few templates that we are going to be using and it just gets a bit annoying and you don't need these letters anymore so just if you want to just close them you can so there we go I've got all my things closed so come on to texture BG and just drag make sure runner move tool Okay, never mind. Come over here to where it says background, right click and say duplicate layer. Just click OK. Make sure you're, you have your duplicated layer selected and then just drag straight into the banner template once again. And then just make sure it's covering all the letters. So go over here to where it says background copy. It should be a layer group, it should be above group one. And you're gonna hold Alt and then just click and it basically creates a clipping mask. So once you've got your clipping mask created, come here to where it says normal and it's a drop down menu. Just click the drop down menu and go to um, overlay and it basically just adds a bit of texture into the text and makes it look kind of rusty and just cool basically. So uh, once you've got that done, go up to file once again, hit open and you're going to be using AEBG19, just double click that and once again once again, right click over where it says uh, background and say duplicate layer, then just click OK. Make sure you're on your move tool, we are indeed, so we can drag this straight into our background or our banner, I mean. And um, drag your background copy that you just uh, took in there, the little purple thing, just drag that down to the very bottom so it becomes a background, not a clipping mask. Once you have your background in, hit Control T once again and we can just resize this out. It's going to make this a bit bigger and make it cover the whole template. So like so. <clears throat> and then once you're happy with it, hit that little tick up the top there. And then we're going to go to File, Open once again. Back into the folder I have linked in the description and go to Green BG. Double click that and open that one. So there we go. Oh, I keep forgetting to do this. So go down to your layers once again. Right click, Duplicate Layer. Hit OK. Make sure on our move tool we still are. So back up to banner. And this, this picture is really big. So hit control T once again. And just drag the picture down until you can see the box around it. There we go. Here's the box here. So just get one of the corners of the box. And resize it once again. Just keep making it much smaller because this picture is huge. Okay so there we go. And there we go, once you're happy, hit the tick. 
and then make sure you still have that green layer selected come up here to that drop down menu once again it says normal hit the drop down menu and click overlay and it basically just does that it makes um it just mixes in a bit of green with it as well it just makes it look a bit cooler so once again file open and you're going to go to rocky.jpg double click on rocky.jpg and open it up so once again over here to layers right click duplicate layer okie dokie and then we're going to drag that into banner now as well and uh, once again up here to where um, the normal is drop down menu and hit overlay like that so once you have all your backgrounds in go back down to your layers palette over here and you will see the pictures beside them go to the purple background just click it once and then drag it up above the other two background copies and it gives you this nice green color and it also has a lot of texture to the background it looks pretty cool and um, <clears throat> yeah so once that is done once again go up to file and then where are we file open and I'm gonna select AEBG 14 just open that once again right click on it duplicate layer okay make sure you're on your move tool we are so I'm just gonna drag it straight into banner once again like that gonna hit control T to just resize it just make it as big as the letters <clears throat> like that go to uh, once you have it as big as the letters just hit that tick so then go to that layer and drag it up above your group just drag it to the very top like that or drag it above group one and it will create a clipping mask once again and then we're gonna go to normal and then select overlay and see what that looks like you can play around with all these lights if you want uh, each of them do different things like I got to show you like vivid is that and you can change it around if you would like to I'm just gonna leave it on overlay though uh, just darkens the letters a little bit makes it look cool I'm also gonna add in a few lens flares now so I will leave a link in the description where you can get lens flares, uh, you can get 50 of them and uh, they're pretty darn cool. Uh, it's from Media Militia, also the font is actually from Media Militia as well so um, yeah go check out that website if you're into kind of graphics and stuff it's really good. So yeah if you want to download these I will leave a link in the description to where you can get all of these uh, lens flares, you can get 50 of them and it's really cool. So I'm just going to choose a pink one double click it and drag it in like that I'm just gonna put it up there All right, put it. make sure um, drag your lens flare down to the bottom make sure it's not a clipping mask where should we put Mr. Lens Flare I'm gonna put it here once you have your lens flare in then go to where it says normal once again and change it to screen let's see what that looks like no change it to hard light yeah hard light looks cool we'll leave it at that and then if you want to use the lens flare once again then just right click on the lens flare layer duplicate layer hit ok and then you can just move it like this and there we go that's basically everything you have to do so now just save that whatever you want save it to wherever you want it to it's gonna save it as beast banner save it as a JPEG so click the drop down menu save it as a JPEG save it to wherever you want I'm just gonna save it to desktop and then hit save hit OK and then go up to file and then hit new this time you want it to be your width to be 2000 and 48 pixels and your height to be 1152 pixels leave everything else the same and then just hit OK and then go to file oh, file and just open the picture you just saved so what did I say I saved that as beast banner so where are you there so open that Let's see what we do say OK and then go right click on the background duplicate layer hit OK make sure you're on your move tool if you are then super and then move it into the template you just created like that make sure it's in the middle 
So there we go. That looks like it's in the middle there. <clears throat> and then open up your green layer, if I can find it. So green BG once again. And drag that into the layer you just created as well. Like that. Drag it down to the bottom of everything. So it just becomes a background. And then go into... What am I looking for? Looking for that pink kind of texture background thing. Is it? Yeah, so go into AEBG19. Once again, drag into that template. Then Control T to just resize it. Like so. And then hit the tick once you've resized it. Then go to where it says normal over here in the drop down menu. Select the drop down menu and click overlay. Like that, it just gives a nice bit of texture to the picture. And that's basically it. You can play around. Um, basically, people won't really see this bigger picture. They're only going to see the first template uh, you created unless they come onto your channel on a TV. But, like, fuck all people are really going to do that. So I don't really put that much work into the background of the big image. Um, but you can if you would like. So, yeah, that's basically it. Once you've got that done, once again, save as a JPEG. And you can upload it to the YouTubes. And you have a nice, cool... 3d shatter text effect background banner for your youtube channel so i really hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like and if you have any problems leave a comment and i will try my bestest to get back to you so i uh, really hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys later bye